Well, today is June the 8th, and I hope you've already downloaded my ebook on focus. I hope you've liked or subscribed or followed or somehow we're staying connected. I want to stay connected with you because I want to help you achieve everything that's in your heart to do this year. Uh, this The Apostle Paul wrote this. He said, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, honest, whatsoever things are, are just and lovely, we know the scripture, whatever things are a good report, think about these things. Whatever's praiseworthy, it says it in Philippians chapter 4, think about these things. So Paul, just like Joshua that we talked about yesterday, and if you haven't, listen, if you're just joining us on the daily Every month, we take a different topic. This month, we're talking about focus. So go back from the very first of the month and catch up with us. Yesterday, we talked about Joshua. He knew that the thought life had to be directed, and and then life itself could be corrected. See, uh, that's good right there. I'd I'd write that down and tweet it or or something. That's a good, uh, good line. Just... Make sure you tag me so we can re- repost you. But he knew that a, a man's mind had to be focused before a man's life could be focused. This means that uh, you can change the focus of your life and you can actually learn to focus on new and, and better things. You can change the focus of your life by simply changing the repetition of thoughts that are in your brain or what your brain manufactures. You can change the way you see life, and the way you see life will begin to change, the way you see your own future. Then those changes can actually reshape where you're headed. All permanent change in the human realm is the result of repetition. So by changing the soundtrack that your mind plays over and over in your heart, you can actually change your focus in life. And by changing the little video about your future that your mind plays over and over in your head, you can actually change your life's direction and the outcome. So as we learned earlier, a person's belief systems shape that person's destiny. And the individual who truly believes that he can climb the mountain will climb the mountain. And he who fails a dozen times, but each time he tries, he'll learn something new. And each time he tries, he'll develop a better plan for the next attempt. Then eventually he'll stand on top of the summit. But a person's belief systems are based upon the thoughts that they think, the images that run through their mind. So those images shape his expectations, and his expectations shape his determination. And in all areas of life, you will become what you think. You can find all that and more in my book, Mindset Matters. Now, get the ebook on focus, but I wrote a book all about your thinking called Mindset Matters. What, what you, uh, If you change the way you think, the things that you're thinking about will begin to change. You can change your world. If you want to dig more into your mindset, your thought processes, grab that book. Matter of fact, you can grab the whole coaching program. It's, a, it's actually a master class, eight sessions that walks you through the book with a workbook. I promise you that'll be well worth your investment. Get my ebook, Mindset Matters. I mean, my book and masterclass, Mindset Matters, as well as go ahead and get that ebook on focus. All that you can click, uh, click just below. Okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>